Hiya, and welcome back to Nutty Rock Chip Art. Some of you will be familiar with what this means, but I am going to attempt a Jeremy Massey marmalade pour. Um, not to confuse with marbles. I do have marbles. At some point I will do that for you. I think that's going to be coming up soon. But this is a much softer and subtler if I manage to get it right. So our base is a combination of my standard white um, which is Amsterdam Deco Art Pearl um, and it was some Baker Ross white. I am hoping to get some um, satin enamel relatively soon and I'm just going to be really difficult to get the pour out in this wool. I don't want too much, but I want a nice layer in the bottom. And the idea of this is that we have a layer of white, and then we put literally the teeniest brittle of colour. So I'm literally just going to dip and drizzle a few drops in. I need a tiny warmer. There we go, that's plenty. It seems like I'm putting none in, but I've, <laughs> I've watched this technique a lot and you really don't need a massive amount of colour. Just to add a drizzle of the darker, but I'm just a little bit in and put that straight back. Yeah, that actually might be too much. It is very, very, very difficult to judge this because between each layer of colour, I've then got a very gently layer without letting it sink another layer of white cream in this case because like I said I'm using it's got um Decorat 24 karat gold in it to just to give it a warmer feel. Um sometimes start white is is very effective but for something this soft I'm not going for as much. Because I am hoping this is going to be quite pretty, quite soft effect. Um, the last one was the Dutch pour, which I will actually bring over and give you a close up of how that's drying because it's gorgeous. I'm kind of in love with that. Do you want a little bit more of that? Oh, I really have to get. but not too much. Okay. Okay, it's really so difficult to judge this because you always feel like you're not putting enough paint in but from watching many 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 Massey Art Studios ones too much is never enough. <laughs> it, 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 every time you end up saying, I put too much colour in. So, <laughs> I'm bound to the master. Um, to be fair, I don't know if other people did it first, but Jeremy Massey is the first person I saw do the marbling technique this way. I know other people have done sandwich pours where you do... Um, Colours sandwiched, but this is slightly different to that. It's hopefully going to be softer. Um, I do love the 
That killed the Dutch Corby, did you? Right, that's gorgeous. I will show you. I will bring it over so you can have a look at the close of that. I could, I should, probably should be doing the colour to the cream, but the first time I've done this marbling technique, I've done other techniques that look similar to a marble effect, but this is specifically um, the way Jeremy Massey does it, and I'll probably see his name loads in this video, but Massey Pugs, both Massey Boys, they are amazing. If I can find one of his attempts at a marble pour. I will try and remember to put a link in the description. I know they've not done one in like the past few days. Now I'm wondering. Because I took it out and I want to put it back in. I do want to put it back in. I took out the light pink. but I actually think that was a mistake. But it does mean that I've got to change the order slightly and I'm going to possibly add some deco art gold in there as well. But I do want to do a drizzle of this one. Here's the other end of it. I'd taken the pale pink out and I'm not sure why I suddenly decided to put it back in but I just kind of felt like I was giving it a disservice if I didn't. Sometimes it's really hard as an artist to explain why you do things. Um, Sometimes it's just a case of what you instinctually feel is going to work. Right. Yeah. I think it needs another stick. These are fantastic. They don't cost a lot. Um, I think I got 200 pieces for like a tenner and they're absolutely brilliant. They're just jumbo lollipop sticks um, or tongue depressors you can look it up under either. Um, Oh, so that's 24 karat gold, which is always beautiful. I wasn't going to put it in, but I do kind of think it's going to... Because there is 24 karat gold actually in the cream. But I did just want to put a bit extra in there. With the darker pink. Because I want the purples together. Hopefully that makes some sort of sense to you. <laughs> I want the, the light and the dark purple in the same layer. So I could have put the gold on the end, but if you put gold next to um, 
dark purple, it has a tendency to go green, and we don't want it to go green. colours and finding something that's kind of everybody paints with their own style and their own techniques but creative colours kind of have your own flair and there are so many ways to express your own flair and there are so many techniques This is actually, um, it's got some amethyst deco art in it, it's got dioxazine purple in it, and it's got another purple that I got from Art Discount, which is actually quite similar to dioxazine, but it's not quite as dark. Um, so the amethyst and that other purple lift it slightly. I don't want it overlifted. That is about perfect. <laughs> Cross your fingers, boys and girls. Because, as I said when I showed you in the first place, the pin in the bottom is what we call, uh, well, what the Massey boys call a paint grenade. Because you flip it over and then you pull the pin. So it's kind of uh, a flip cup with a twist, I guess you'd say. Um, and I'm not going to put any base coat, but I may put a small puddle of deco art gold. I'm going to spread it out because I don't want to actually use it as a base coat. But I kind of want to pop the pin and let it slide where it wants to go. But putting a little bit of deco art gold in the middle, hopefully it will then spread out underneath give me some pretty gold cells in my marble pool. of the um, paint grenade is you don't actually have to wait quite as long. I have left a little bit of space though, so I may, because I kind of wanted it to drop. I want the air to go up to the top. 
when I pop it, it will hopefully have a more, because sometimes I don't get a lot of movement when I pull the pin, and I don't know whether that's something in the technique that I'm missing, I do kind of need to go back and re-review the technique. I'm giving you a minute. Okay, so I did give it a little bit of time just because I want to make sure that the air is at the top. So hopefully I'm going to pull the pin. Yay! It's escaping. This is exactly what I want to do.
without a base coat or a throat extender, the colour is rolling over itself, but that is intentional with this particular pour. Some of them are more bold and it really does depend on your colour choice, how bold you want to make it. That one's a beautiful softer, more mellow style. I do actually think that might have put a little bit too much colour in, even though I barely put any in, which is crazy. I have seen this like several times, like I said, the main comment is almost always I put too much colour in. But it's very, very nerve-wracking when you do it because you never know exactly it always seems like there isn't enough but what i'm going to do is i'm going to gently bring you in so you can have a look at this one up close as you see we've got beautiful floating color very dreamy and soft and beautiful. Now I'm going to bring you back and I'm going to show you the other one that we did yesterday, which was our Dutch paw. which as you can see has, is drying absolutely beautifully and and embracing the rainbow is another really beautiful piece but the, you can see that that's a lot more dramatic and a lot more bright and vibrant and the colours are very intense but that's kind of the beauty of acrylic art is that you can get things that are very bold and very energetic um, but you can also get things that are very soft and very subtle and very beautiful and I really hope that you've been enjoying my return to colour and um, the 
Look after yourselves. Be good to each other. All the best.